Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's supposed push to return to the monarchy has largely been debunked, but the rebel duke is reportedly eager to bring his family to Britain to visit more often. However, there is one major barrier preventing these otherwise tranquil trips. Although the Duke of Sussex appealed the London High Court's decision to block his request for taxpayer-funded security while in Britain, his and Meghan's Columbia tour reignited the debate to become their biggest hurdle to visiting Britain. Another highlight was probably the fact they were given full security, former royal butler Grant Harold said on behalf of Slingo when discussing the trip. When I worked for the family, Harry didn't have a massive entourage, but I'm sure they'll be over the moon to have had that protection in Columbia. They have to be strict in the UK, as it's paid for by taxpayers' money, and one of the main arguments is that they can afford to pay for it themselves," he added. But when royals go to other countries, the nation's police will arrange security themselves to make sure they're protected. Recent reports suggest, and despite her reported disappointment in the pair, that the late Queen Elizabeth II directed her chief advisor to ensure the Duke and Duchess had effective security. The revelation comes via a newly unsealed letter Her Late Majesty wrote to her private secretary, Sir Edward Young, in early 2020. You will understand well that ensuring that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex remain safe is of paramount importance to Her Majesty and her family, Young's letter read on behalf of the Queen. Given the Duke's public profile by virtue of being born into the royal family, his military service, the Duchess's own independent profile, and the well-documented history of targeting of the Sussex family by extremists, it is imperative that the family continues to be provided with effective security. The memo was sent to then Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his entire cabinet, and although the head of government could technically have denied her wish, a royal command is seldom ever disobeyed. Not all analysts of the situation believe that such an arrangement could ever be met again. The argument from the Met and Royals will be that Harry has never had a big entourage, unlike his father or grandmother did, Harold continued. I think this security issue is going to be a long-term thing, and the longer it goes off, the less we'll see of them in the UK I think it will be a long-term issue, and this will bring up a lot of questions. Meanwhile, Young's letter pointed out that although the Queen stressed the importance of ensuring Harry and Meghan's continued security, she acknowledged that the final decision would rest with Rivec, Royal and VIP Executive Committee. Marie Claire reported on Harry's security concerns.